welcome back to Huawei News. I'm your host, Susie. On November 5th, Huawei Technology Sweden AB submitted an appeal to the local court to reverse a decision to exclude Huawei in major 5G rollout. With an inhibition granted by the court on November 9th, the license conditions and 5G auctions were put on hold. Huawei appreciates that the court shares its view. Huawei welcomes any non-biased and fact-based cybersecurity requirements based on clear and verifiable technical standards, as well as open and transparent procedures of approval. 2020 has been a difficult year for all of us. But meanwhile, it has clearly shown the crucial role of ICT as a critical digital infrastructure that supports people's well-being and economic development. This year, 5G has seen large-scale deployment. More than 110 5G networks have been rolled out around the world. Many industries have started integrating 5G to achieve this transformation to improve the work conditions of laborers and increase productivity. Now let's take a look at some of the top 5G industry applications of this year. Now I feel like I'm in a Star Wars movie. Just check out this little robot here. It's an AI inspection robot. It's making sure that everything in this room is working properly, and if there's any problem, it will detect it so they can fix it immediately. This is the 5G base station. There are 147 of these base stations through all the mine to provide fast connectivity to make all this coal mine work. And now where where magic happens, this is the command center of the mine. All these panels you can see behind, the ones on top are for data monitoring. The ones on the bottom, they are real-time video return from the mine, which is in 4K HD, only possible thanks to 5G technology. Also, the large broadband and low latency of 5G allows the workers on this room to manage all these machines you can see here remotely. You can imagine how this has improved the safety of workers, since right now they need less miners underground and more workers on this room. And in the port industry, gantry operators used to work 40 meters above the ground for hours. With 5G, they can control the cranes remotely. This has significantly improved their work safety and also increased efficiency by four times. Finally, let's look at the metallurgy industry another industry with a harsh work environment. Behind me are the cranes, massive magnets collecting the scrap metal as it arrives and taking it to the fiery furnaces. But this is a horrible working environment. It's dirty, noisy, smelly. I can taste the air. It's also extremely noisy. I can't hear myself think. And certainly I'm having to shout so that you can hear me. I don't want to be here. Down there, the workers, they wear this clumsy protective equipment, but it doesn't protect them from all of the hazards and all of the risks. I'm just gonna get out of here. Xiangtang Iron and Steel has 400 such cranes and employs 1,500 drivers for them. These cranes are crucial to the production process as they transfer the hot metal scraps and other materials into the furnaces. Thankfully, 5G changes this. The private 5G network on this campus provides 1.2 gigabits per second uplink rates with less than 20 milliseconds latency. This is more like it. The cranes are now being remote controlled over the 5G network from the beautiful comfort of this luxurious office. This remote control system is made up of cranes, crane operators and the 5G network. Operators can now spend their working day in a comfy room and remotely control their cranes. Just imagine how work is made easier, safer and pleasant now. The remote control system is also a lot more precise compared to the old manual processes. 2020 will end in just one more month. 2020 in my eyes has been a year of contradictions. Why advances in technology have really exploded this year? We have also seen a growing wave of mistrust in technology, 
protectionism and anti-collaboration. On December 10th, Huawei will hold a Trust in Tech Summit with a unique futurist and immersive stage effect. Speakers will include Huawei Executive Director and Career BG President Ryan Dean, GSMA CMO Stephanie Leach Habib, and legendary investor Jim Rogers. Together, they will discuss how technology can better promote economic and social recovery, and how we can rebuild the open and trusted ecosystem to achieve the shared success in the golden age of 5G. Stay tuned to the summit live streaming at 4 p.m. December 10th, Beijing time, on Huawei's official Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn.